a lot of my initiative has been to trip the farmer stay in business and and get more retail sales off the farm. We passed a, a bill that allowed a grape producer to take his grapes to a winery, make wine, turn it into wine, put his farm label on it, bring it back to his farm, and sell it directly off his farm. And uh, it's we haven't had time to get that running yet very much, but that, that was a huge bill for the wine growers, the grape growers. And uh, that they can re they can retail the wine right off their farms. Any time now there'll be farms who raise grapes, but can't afford a winery. You know, by this by spring, I'd say there'll be there'll be farms that have taken their grapes to a winery, turned it into wine, paid the taxes, bring the bottle home, and retail it off their farms. Mm -hmm. And one thing we have got to do this year is make sure that they can trade wines with other Tennessee farmers. So if you if if you went out to your neighbor's farm to buy wine, you could buy his wine, or you could buy wine from other farms in Tennessee. And uh, in 1850, grapes was the number one cash crop in the state of Tennessee. We can raise grapes, and we need to, uh, you know, through the years, we have, we've let the middleman make off the money, and the farmers don't make anything. So my big push is let these farmers retail stuff, still pastured beef, pastured pork, eggs off the farm, raw milk, wine, you know, and maybe even cigarettes. Maybe let them raise tobacco and make cigarettes and sell the cigarettes off the farm. Why not? Why don't keep, we need to keep that money inside the state. If you went to your neighbor's farm and bought cigarettes, that money would stay in your community. When you buy cigarettes now, it goes to Virginia or somewhere around the world. They buy the tobacco from around the world for cigarettes. But if you buy local cigarettes, that money stays at home. Our, one of our goals is we've got to keep the money at home and keep it circulating.